Hello everybody, welcome to Game Geeks. I'm Nicholas Church and you're watching Game Church. <clears throat> Today we're going to be playing Little Inferno. I don't know if you've heard about this, read about this. Um, I already kind of played it once, but uh, the audio was kind of screwed up and I, you know, I didn't like it at all. <clears throat> you know? Um, so we're just going to go ahead and play this again, um, so kind of a first impressions review. I uh, kind of already going to know what's going on a little bit, um, so I'll explain it to you along the way. But this is a game where you pretty much sit at your fireplace and just burn things. Not even joking. It's it's crazy. Um, yeah, and you get get these letters every now and then, and it, they're just they're just kind of silly. It's it's really weird. The humor in this game is a lot like um, the like 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 Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas kind of style humor. Like you know, the end of the world's here, but you know, sit at your fireplace. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh here, it's a you know. It, it's just, it's quirky. It's quirky kind of humor. It's 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 kind of sad humor though at the same time. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just into that and you guys aren't. But it's okay. But as far as this game goes, um, it's it's uh, it's paid. It's not free, unfortunately. But it's going towards people who make good games, and then that's kind of what matters because. There's a lot of crap indie games out there. So, you know, shelling out a few bucks to, to give to a decent company. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm willing to do that. But, you see, you start out with these catalogs. And they're, they never really have, you know, too much in them to begin with. But then you can work your way down the more, burnt, more stuff you burn. Um, and it's pretty interesting, like... And then, you know, like, as you guys bought one thing, and then you go on to the next thing, and the next thing. Like, yeah. Uh, and then it's, like, the Tomorrow Corporation. It's kind of like the by and large corporation, you know, or something like that. It's just, like, how the world would react to the end of the world. You know that there'd be someone coming out on top of it. Woo! Alright, let's see. We got Sleeping Idol. Mmm, another credit card. And more building blocks. Is all I and then you have to like wait for them to get shipped to you and everything. I think I have money. Shut up and take my money. Alright, let's see. Okay, credit cards, more building blocks. Let's build like a little little thing over here. I got an idea. Let's see how high we can get this thing. Eh. Eh. Alright. And set you set you right there. Alright, we got eh, you suck. But like you'll be spending just like a long amount of time. Like like, you know, the first time I was like, oh man, you know, I'll just, you know, probably play this, never play it again, because it kinda sounds stupid, right? And probably just watching this is like, oh man, this game's kinda dumb. Yeah, but just burning stuff, it's crazy. But you'd be you'd be surprised, and it's like the little storylines and stuff kind of get to you every now and then too. Yeah, and then you get like these little spiders and everything. As though, no, um, she's like your girlfriend kind of. It's really weird. But like, yeah, you have these little missions where people ask you to like send stuff and everything, and it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty cool. I I, I enjoy it. You know, like I, the way that they've like structured this game. I want to see if I can get to before we run out of time. Eh, you suck. Stay up there. Eh, okay, fine. You know what? The, the inferno will start with you. Money! I know my money! Money! You should probably take that money and actually spend it on things. Yeah, we're like buying all this stuff with change and then like actual money comes out. It's like, oh no, just let it burn. Let it burn. Let's see if it's bricks. Oh yeah, yeah. And this is actually kind of I like this. Alright. And then you know you can only really have so many things. I guess it's kinda like so it prevents you from building and clogging everything up. You know, I mean that seems like that would be kind of a bad situation anyway. Alright, we have three batteries. Kids, 
anyone who's listening, never put a battery on a fire. Personal experience. Bad things happened. Alright, let's see. I'll set this like that. Yeah! Flame to And like all of these all of these things like have different little like things that they do. Like the batteries, you know, of course will blow up. The tiki like has a flamethrower attached to it. And like the further down you get, like the crazier they kinda get like here. Like I don't know if any of you know it's like with the popcorn and then with the and then you get all these achievements, you know, and like these are the ones that you can get do like right now with with the catalog that I have, and then so you know like bike pirate, you know, obviously if you you combine the two and burn them at the same time, it, it, they don't even have to be honestly in any certain order. It seems like it's just if you burn those two, and I mean most of the time you know you kind of get random achievements, you know, if you throw two things in at once. Here, actually, I'll go grab the pirate. I'll show you guys. And I mean, yeah, sure, this is kind of a less than impressions review, but it's a game that everyone should know about. You know, it's a game that you really haven't, well, you know, I hadn't until, you know, recently. And then I was like, oh man, this game, you know, this would be great for Game Church. And then I actually ended up really enjoying it, you know. And I, I kind of wish that the audio didn't like wasn't just horrible and trust me it was um for the first recording because that was it was pretty funny probably funnier than this one but this one's a little bit more informative but the people who make this game are also the people that i found out later um see there you go achievement just burn around about the same time uh the people who made this game are actually the people who make uh other games like uh good it was good but um, like that was like on all the consoles and everything, you know. And it was, you know, like they're still indie, but they're a little bit more known now, you know. They're like that good middle ground between, you know, indie and, uh, you know, like an actual company. You know, they're an actual company. They're just, you know, a little bit more popular, which is good. You don't have to be AAA to make great games. Trust me. All right. I'm trying to hurry as long so I can get this little, little cool thing in here um, and show you guys. But, yeah, I mean, there are just a ton of things to do. And, I mean, each one each one of these things, well, probably, probably from like here down, each one of them has their own, like, little quirky thing that they do. You know, if it's just from going from blowing up to, like, the sleeping idol, how he wakes up to the flamethrower, you know... Um, to this one here, I'll get this one too, that's cool. And, you know, all of these things have cool little things that they do. It's like, this, this kind of thing took a lot of time. And, like, that picture warps. It's, it's pretty sad, actually. Oh no. Fireflies! We burn up our bad. But anyway, alright, let's see if I can get to it. Yes, I can. Alright. You can take your own pictures. Which I'm not really sure how it decides, you know, what pictures to get or anything. But, you know, hey, that's not up to me. So. Alright, come on. Come on, but yep, yeah, that's that's me. It's the church bro. It's my my uh, first concept drawing and everything. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna burn me. All right, come on, four, three. But anyway, you're watching uh, Game Yanks. This is Game Church. I'm Church, and uh, stay warm, everyone. And go check out Little Inferno. See y'all later. Goodbye.